really don't know. You know when a dog like sniffs you and you're trying to figure out like, is it because you smell bad or is it because you smell good? Like I'm having that moment right now because Tulip's on my lap and she's sniffing and it's making me nervous. And I just took a shower, so I don't know what she's sniffing, but it's making me think. So FYI, I have tried the vlogging thing and um, okay, so I took really boring footage of me about to take Tulip out for a walk the other day, which I find really brave. I will fit in here. I feel like a total idiot. Um, so this is me, real life, morning, glasses, stupid hat, ridiculous, dressed in this crazy thick coat because I have to go outside and take this little beast to the park. There she is. Mommy, can we go now, please? I really want to get going. And then I took really boring footage of myself getting ready for a party last night, which if I'm really, really brave, I will put in here. It's not so different than when I was 20. There's music. And then there's um, there's no beer. That's the one thing that's different. Um, and then there's me putting makeup on, which I'm terrible at, but you guys know that already. Do I clean up okay? Do you like the hair? You can see my undercut now. Yes, I think you can see it. Yes, I'm not dead yet. I can still shave my head. Okay, so I'm moderately satisfied with the results. This is my experiment in letting you watch me get ready. I hope it was fun. <laughs> Bye. It could be that I actually just showed you something funny or it could just be that I put up a black card that said, I'm not gonna show you what I just did because I'm literally a goofball. Okay, moving on. Incidentally, what a segue. Today's video is about bravery. I am choosing to talk about this because as I have said in my last video, it's my plan to be even more open and honest with you guys moving forward. And, and my goal is to really rip through any of the barriers that I have created between myself and the truth and what's really happening. And I, I hope that in doing this, it will help you kind of like look inward and see if in your own life you have created sort of barriers between yourself and the health that you desire if you're looking to get your period back. It occurs to me that I've been doing this YouTube channel for three months and I'm only now starting to like start to get comfortable in front of the camera. It's really weird. I think in order for me to do this easily, I just have to imagine that I'm talking to you. Whoever you are, I have to imagine I'm talking to a friend and so that's the way I get through it. Um, thank you, by the way, to some of the people that have emailed me recently saying that my personality or my heart comes through on the videos. I really hope so because it's not super easy to just talk to this like black camera in front of my face. It's just kind of, um, it seems very anonymous and it seems very disconnected, but I like to think that on the other end of this are some really great people that I'm connecting with. So. That being said, today's video I'm gonna talk about bravery. Today I'm going to talk about why trying to get your period back is an act of bravery. There are many reasons why I didn't motivate to do anything about getting my period back. I was trying to reflect on those things and think to myself, okay, when I was starting this journey and when I was kind of going through this, like what were the barriers holding me back? When I began all of this, to be completely honest, the idea of gaining weight in order to get my period back didn't feel brave at all. Reality alert. Here it comes. The reality was that I thought that gaining weight meant I had given up. It, for me, felt like a failure. It also felt like I was giving up something that I had worked so hard for, that I had considered my identity. I mean, if you look around you, the message you get in the media and in social media and in the fitness world and in the running world is, you know, the harder you push, the better it is. The more tight you hold the reins, the better it is. And the more disciplined you are, the better you are. And I totally bought that hook, line, and sinker. So to give up, and I'm using that phraseology because it's what I thought at the time, it is truly what I thought at the time, was that to gain weight and to kind of like, I'm gonna use the words, I, I felt like it was giving in, in a way, to being healthy, and healthy was not the word I wanted to hear. You know, it's like, um, I remember reading something about like the modeling industry years ago where like if a model was told she was healthy she would like leave the shoot in tears because healthy meant fat you know and I, I think that some of that was like in my head and I really 
almost didn't want to go there because of what I thought that it meant about me. I know it sounds ridiculous, or, or maybe it does make sense to some of you, but that's really what I thought. So the three points I want to make today about bravery are to show you that the actual truth is so far opposite of that, and I'm going to show you why. Okay, choosing to get your period back, especially if you're an athlete, which I think probably most of you are if you're watching this channel, is a slap in the face to the last taboo in sport. The last taboo in sport is menstruation. First of all, no one wants to admit the fact that they have lost their period. I think women do not want to talk about symptoms and do not want to talk about how difficult it is sometimes to perform in whatever various phase of your, your cycle you might be. And I think that there is this real reticence to admit that many women, in order to perform what is considered to be their best, will lose a period in the process of doing that. But when you step up and say, I want to get my period back, I value my health equally. This is like, she's really up in it today. I just don't know what it is. Oh my God, Look, she does not want me to shoot this video today. I think when you say to yourself, I value my health just as much, if not more, than I value my athletic performance, that's an act of bravery. That is unprecedented, and it's just not something that we see today. I think that's the misconception, is that we're like, oh, okay, if I'm this tiny, if I'm this small, if I'm this ripped, you know, I'm gonna perform at my best. And you know, that may be true for a short period of time, but it's not gonna last so you stepping out and saying I'm gonna get my period back I value myself that is bravery and it's commendable okay the second thing is a little bit tricky I'm gonna see if I can explain this properly I didn't practice it I probably should have but okay so saying that you want to get your period back is acknowledging it's very brave because you're acknowledging something that is true about the female body and something that is true about the female body and has been true about the female body for thousands of years is that your body is designed to protect your fertility and i know that this is a little bit controversial especially for people like me i have chosen not to have children and so fertility in the sense of my ability to bear children is really not top of mind for me i also think that's one of the things that wasn't really motivating me to get my period back because I kind of was like why do I need to right which is so ridiculous but like that's the way I thought you know I'm a dork and I do research on everything so I, I found two books that actually talk about this so one of the books is called reproductive ecology and human evolution and the other one is called evolution's empress Darwinian perspectives on the nature of women this is super enlightening crap okay so here's the thing I'm gonna give you the short version Back in the caveman days, the women stayed close to the camp. They didn't go running around, going for long walks and doing all these crazy things. They stayed in with the group because the idea was to be fertile. And in order to be fertile, they had to like do less exercise. All of the food was first given to the women and children. Why? Because they had to stay fed. This is not something we want to hear in 2016. The things that our bodies are asking us to do, which is less exercise and eat better and take care of your nutrition is stuff that has, it's not new. In our world today, this is an uncomfortable concept because we do not want to, we don't want to talk about how we are different than men. We don't want to talk about how our differences might impose certain restrictions or limitations on the things that we can and can't do. And it's not really a comparison between men and women. I think it's a comparison between the traditional role of a female, let's say in like, you know, caveman times versus the role of a female in today's society. So in today's society, women can or do not have to have children. They can work or they don't have to. They can, um, you know, run a hundred miles a week or they can not, you know, we can do anything. We're only limited by our creativity, our imagination and, you know, the desire that we have in our hearts to push limits or not, you know, that's, that's up to us today. So it's very uncomfortable when you enter into this conundrum where you are suddenly limited by something that you're like, Hey, I didn't give you permission to do that. You know, I'm going to go be a rock star and you're holding me back. So when you acknowledge the, I don't want to use the word limitations because nobody should have limits, but when you acknowledge the realities of the female body, you are acting, you're, it's brave because you're saying, you know what? This is something I can't change. 
and I am going to embrace it and I'm going to be proud of it and I'm going to do what I can to nourish it, you know? And in today's world, like that's a really hard thing to do. So the third topic that we wanted to mention about why trying to get your period back is a very brave thing is because <laughs> all this time that you've been an athlete um, and you've lost your period, you have, I have, or I did, um, you base your self-worth on this either body type, if maybe you're a bikini competitor, or um, this uh, athletic performance if you're a triathlete or a runner or an ultra runner. And you've been hanging a lot of your identity and your self-worth on what your body can do for you. And so when you are strong enough to step out of that paradigm and put your health first, it's, it's an act of bravery. Because what you're saying is, I am special, unique, amazing, and wonderful, irrespective of my body and what my body can do for me. Uh, this, this is really hard. Um, it was very hard for me. When I stopped running for a couple of months, I definitely felt out of sorts. I didn't really know who I was in certain points, and I, it was very basic. It was like I didn't know how to structure my day. I didn't know how to, um, I didn't know how to think of myself. And it really required me to do some hard thinking about, you know, who is Jill? What is, what is, the, what is the worth of Jill outside of sport? Outside of being known as the tiny little trail bird, like, you know, doot, doot, doot down the trail. I mean, you know, it forced me to come out of that and find what about me is worthwhile. So like I say to my friends all the time, I, I read this book a while back um, that talked about how everything that you do in life is done out of either love or out of fear, okay? And I asked myself, why didn't I motivate to try to defeat amenorrhea earlier? And I had all those fears, but nobody ever feared themselves into something awesome, if you think about it. Nothing that you do out of fear is ever going to bring about positive change. It's never going to bring you to success. It's going to make you more and more tight and closed in your mind about what is possible for you. And that's unacceptable. It's, it's just unacceptable to see yourself in a tiny little box of fear that you've put yourself in because you're like, no, I'm, I'm afraid, you know, to be perceived as something other than what I am. Well, guess what? Stepping outside that box is the best thing you can do because I promise you on the other side of that box is the you that you're meant to be, okay? It's the you that's acting out of love, not out of fear. It's the you that is really trying to say, hey, I matter, I exist, I'm awesome, my health is important, you know? Especially for you girls that are concerned with fertility. Maybe sport has taken the primary role in your life right now, it's the most important thing you do, but like you do wanna have children somewhere down the road, you're playing with fire. I'm not, I mean, not to be dramatic or anything, but like you are. Y your fertility is super important. Your ability to have children, if you want to have children, should be the top thing on your mind because it's not for nothing. It's not something you can be cavalier about. It's your body, it's your future, it's your life. So the moral of the story today is take a risk. Be brave. Don't underestimate yourself. Don't sit there thinking that you know what the outcome is gonna be if you just go for it, cause you don't, cause I didn't. I can promise you now you can talk to anyone who knew me, I was the number one most strict, tight, crazy black and white thinker, addictive personality, type A, like no, it has to be like this, it has to be like this. I mean, I was a nut job. I mean, I'm still a nut job, but I was really a nut job. But yet, here I am, sitting in front of you today, telling you that it's gonna be okay. And if I can do this, you can do it. So you're not alone. <laughs> it's like my famous phrase these days. You're definitely not alone. So step out of the box, be brave. Biology is behind you. Your evolution is behind you. You can do this, okay? So leave me a comment below. Like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to a case of the Jills because then um, you won't miss any more of Tulip or me putting my makeup on with like Justin Timberlake in the background because God knows everyone needs that in their day. Blah. Anyway, okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>